Hey everybody, how you doing? Some of you know I get a lot of IMs uh, asking me for help about computers and that, and uh, and I'm more than happy to help. I love to, you know, be able to help. If I don't know the answer to something, then uh, the wheels start spinning, and I do all the research and find out how to fix it or what's wrong. This is my quest for Windows Movie Maker. Um, I don't think Microsoft has any intention of working on this program and it is really buggy as most of you know that have ever tried to use it. I don't think they intend to fix it be just simply because it's a free program and you know take it or leave it right. There's you know a few uh, basic requirements to run Movie Maker. I mean you know I'd, I'd recommend at least 512 memory you know, and your your video card, how slow or fast your video card is going to make a difference on how often it crashes on you because you just can't handle it. Um, uh, you want to make sure you close all your extra programs that are running down on the right hand corner of your computer. You know, just right click on them and uh, you exit or whatever, and that's going to free up some resources for, to help maybe we make it run a little better. If you're having problems with your movie maker, like most people are. Um, I've made a few other videos on Movie Maker, and I'm going to go in, if I haven't already, and change them to Movie Maker 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And, you know, follow through the, the videos in order, and, and it should help you. And the first video is going to be to reinstall Movie Maker, which is really fast and easy to do. And if that doesn't help you, then move on to the next video and check that out. And, now this one, I think, is fourth or fifth in the series, I'm not sure. Uh, this is going to deal with the DLL files because what happens is you know it might work our okay at first then you install a DVD burning software or DVD player software like power DVD or something like that and they they come with their own codecs and, and DirectX commands and uh, and they also come with their own um, set of DLL files and stuff like that that they need to use well this particular problem with the DLL files, they can lose the uh, registration by, uh, you know, other programs being installed or uninstalled. Actually, in uh, this this program that's that's in the video description, there's click on that download link and download the software. And uh, this video is going to show you how to run that. And hopefully, this will help uh, fix your movie maker. I mean, this is one more step. In, in Movie Maker that causes a problem or has been known to, but this one's a little more rare. But if you're if you've tried all the other videos and your Movie Maker's still not working, then this may help. Okay, so you downloaded DLLFix.zip. Now you don't have to unzip this. Um, I happen to have WinZip, that's why the icon looks different. But you can right-click on it, and right in here, it'll say Extract All if you don't have WinZip. But this particular file you don't have to extract it. You can just double click it and it'll show you what's inside. The HTML association, just double click on that. Click yes to run it. What this does is fix all the associations for the HTML files. So. Um, whether you're having a problem with it or not, go ahead and click yes and OK again. And click yes again. Just keep clicking yes or OK all the way through. Do the same thing with XP File Association and XP URL shortcut. Of course, you do have to have Windows XP to run these. If you've got Windows Vista, you probably won't have a problem with this. But the main topic of this download is a setup reg tool. It's a setup registration tool. I'm going to double click on that. Ignore the warning if you get one. That the, it's an execute file and it could be dangerous if it's a virus, but it's not. So I'll click yes to open that. It says welcome to the EMS DLL register tool setup wizard. Click next, accept the agreement, click next again, click next again, next again, next. Create a desktop shortcut. If you want a shortcut on your desktop, you can leave that checked. 
If not, then uncheck it, of course. Click next again and install. Then go ahead and leave that check to launch the tool when we click finish. You can close your zip file. And that opens the EMSA registered DLL tool. Under the first heading it says registered tool. Now since this is specifically for Movie Maker, we're going to click on browse. Normally when you first open this it will probably go to my computer and list all your different drives and stuff. But you want to find your C drive. Sometimes this will say local disk, sometimes this will say HP Pavilion. Uh, depending on your computer you have, what you do want to focus on is the C. So find your C drive and double click on that. Go down to find program files and double click on that. Then what we're looking for is Movie Maker. Locate your Movie Maker folder. It's under program files and then Movie Maker double click on Movie Maker that'll bring up and show you all the DLL files that are registered with Movie Maker but sometimes installing different programs the computer can lose its um, configuration and not be registered with these anymore which will cause a problem in your Movie Maker so start down the list and double click on that DLL file and that automatically puts the shortcut in here for the location. And it'll list all the information on your DLL file. It'll tell you if it's registered or not. Like this one is because I've already ran this program. It tells you what that DLL file is registered to. Movie Maker plugin. Um, Windows Microsoft Corporation, Windows Movie Maker Auto Edit. That's what the file description, the DLL file controls, is your auto edit function. But click on register ActiveX. ActiveX component registration successful. Click OK. And once that's done, you want to hit browse again. Go back into the Movie Maker folder. And click on the second one. And then that too it tells you what it's for. And we're going to click on register ActiveX again. Now this one in particular says it's not a valid ActiveX. That particular DLL file it doesn't happen to be an ActiveX control that when so that one's okay. We're going to click browse again, click on the third one in the list. Click on the register ActiveX. ActiveX component registration successful. I'm going to go back to browse. Click on the fourth one in the list. Click on register ActiveX. ActiveX component registration successful. Now keep doing that until you go down the list of all the DLL files that are connected with Movie Maker and that will repair any errors that were caused by installing any other games or DVD players uh, DVD software and really any other software on your computer that uses ActiveX controls can inadvertently modify these DLL files and hopefully this will help you now you can play with this software if you want, but that's the only reason I use this software is to re-register the ActiveX files. Okay, so now that you've installed that program and cleared up the DLL files, you can go ahead and check the Movie Maker again. But you've noticed in that folder there's three other files in there. One's to re-register your HTML, one's to re-register your URL shortcuts, and ones to re-register all the XP file associations. The HTML and the URL shortcuts it happens occasionally, you might be getting an error, maybe not. But uh, the XP file association 
file. Um, the XP File Association program will help also with the uh, Movie Maker Registry. Let me know if this helps or not, and if you have any other questions, feel free to email me and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hope you're all having a great week. Take it easy.